El Super Bowl llega a mi ciudad y nadie conoce la historia del Super Bowl en Miami mejor que mi amigo Billy Corbin, quien dirigió algunos documentales sobre esta ciudad. We're at Blue Collar and we've talked about it start eating, yeah, or keep eating. We've talked about just kind of the coolness of how this place works, right? It's like melds together all the different cultures here in South Florida, like just based on what we're eating. Like you go to a game here, whether it's a Hurricanes game, a Dolphins game, the tailgating experience, my people, Cuban people, Hispanic people in Miami have made tailgating an experience unlike any other place on earth, I think, for a football game. It's the greatest. I may have more than once gone to the stadium for a tailgate and then gone back home <laughs> or to a bar to watch the game. Didn't even go inside the stadium. Yeah! Super Bowl 10 at the Orange Bowl. Right. The NFL let John Frankenheimer, the director, and the crew film Black Sunday during the Super Bowl. Crazy. You literally have Robert Shaw stalking the sidelines right. during the Steelers game, and Joe Robbie has a cameo in the movie where they're talking, they, they're talking to him about stadium security. Right. That's to the point of the movie. It's about this uh, attack using the Goodyear blimp at the Super Bowl, right. and they're gonna crash the Goodyear blimp. My mother never went back to the Orange Bowl after that movie after she saw Black really? Sunday. Yeah, for her it did for the Orange Bowl what Psycho did for showers. Right. And like Jaws did for the war where people yeah. like were like, maybe I'll just sit on the sand. We're just moments away from the Super Bowl 23. Take me back to 11 year old Billy back at Super oh, Bowl yeah. 23. So Bengals Niners. Yeah, so Joe Robbie came around, and this is old school Miami, to the jockey club, trying to get the money together to build this stadium. Right, privately financed. Privately financed. Right. He, it, was, it was the Joe Robbie Stadium. He was pre-selling, pre-leasing right. suites. Right. The, the skybox is in the stadium. And my grandfather said, yeah, this stuff degenerate football fan, the season ticket holder. He put together a group of guys and they bought like a block of them. This is so Miami. Th so Miami. Yeah. They bought a block of suites at Joe Robbie's pre-construction. My grandfather kept one. And 20 years later, he was the last of the original OG suite holders at Joe Robbie. Wow. And in those days, you could get it for anything you wanted. You get it for concerts, concert events, right. Super Bowl. So we were there for Super Bowl 23. We got the suite. It was Amazing. Billy Joel sang the national anthem. Oh, say can you see? Coca-Cola did some 3D halftime thing. If you've got the special 3D glasses, now's the time to put them on. But I remember the game was so exciting. I remember I could like, I literally can look out there and I could see, you know, the clock with the 39 seconds on the game clock and just Ball goes up. Montana, he looks and throws in zone, touchdown! It was pretty exciting. There have been some really significant moments here other than every year. Talk about. They should have the Super Bowl here every they year. really should. It's been a blast. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for wearing the Flamingo shirt in my... Oh, uh, anytime. It's my pleasure. And obviously, after the show is over, you'll probably want to keep wearing these for cosmetic purposes.